And we're back with the Geekly Grind. This is the Jufin. I'm here with Nakfu of Route 59, and we're talking about Necrobarista. Could you tell me a little bit about Necrobarista? So Necrobarista is a cinematic visual novel that centers around Maddie, who is an apprentice ne necromancer. She works as a ca at, the, at a cafe called The Terminal, uh, where uh, it serves as purgatory, essentially, for the entire Southern Hemisphere. So um, when ghosts walk through the cafe doors, they're able to materialize into a corporeal body. However, that body can only last one night. So, you know, Necrobrista is a series of stories surrounded by that circumstance, so expect some high drama as these ghosts figure out their last wishes. Is there a specific story that you want to follow with Necrobarista, a specific kind of narrative tale, or is this more about following all of the different stories? So, um, it really depends on your playthrough, so um, it's largely uh, Maddie's story, so it, Maddie's story covers four parts, um, however there will be two side stories with new characters that will span two to three parts. Tell me a little bit more about the conversation tagging system. So, um, as players progress through the game, they will be offered highlighted keywords. These keywords relate to a specific topic. So, uh, for example, if you are interested in the cafe's history, uh, you will uh, be able to select keywords uh, that relate to the cafe's history, which will then feed into a system which will offer three stories uh, that are largely about the cafe's history. So, you know, it's largely depending on uh, player interest how their playthrough progresses. So is this a game that you would want to play multiple times so that you could get different story arcs? Um, at this point in time, we're still sort of uh, experimenting. Uh, we still need a lot of uh, QA on that, so at this point in time, I cannot answer for sure. But we'll definitely get uh, advertised, you know, uh, what the playthrough is going to be like. Yeah. So was the goal then to make people really focus on words and language and figure out what different words are trying to convey? So um, with visual novels, we wanted to really put prose up on the pedestal. So we wanted people to really uh, uh, value what uh, the game was telling. So um, yeah, with visual novels, it's so easy to just click by and then you know, five screens in, you'll be like, oh, wait, I didn't really catch that. So um, the keyword system is really uh, a system to reward players for their engagement with the story. And I did find that while I was playing, if I ever clicked too fast and missed a keyword, I was frustrated that I'd been going so quickly and I then pulled myself back. And I think the system that you created for that is genius. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, are there other gameplay elements aside from just the exploration and the keyword clicking? At this point in time, yeah, um, there will be, there's only the explore system. We don't want to detract from, you know, uh, how important that is for players to gather keywords and topics. So yeah. Well, it is a beautiful looking game. Uh, what influences do you have for that art style? So, uh, with Necrobarista, you know, the dev team have always been interested in anime, so we're all big uh, fans of the genre. Um, sometimes it's really frustrating living in Melbourne because you don't exactly have access to a lot of uh, anime or, or manga. There's like country, restriction, uh, country restrictions as well. Um, I know that uh, for a time, for the longest time, we couldn't access Crunchyroll or you know, uh, you know, other videos on YouTube because they're uh, region locked. So yeah, yeah um, you know, we're just a bunch of devs who want to uh, send a love letter to uh, anime and visual uh, Japanese visual novels. So yeah, we, we, you know, we can't all live in Japan, can we? <laughs> so <laughs> um, we just, we just wanted to do what we could from where we were. Right. Uh, how long have you been working on it? Uh, so I've been on the project from its conception. Um, I am. I was personally uh, a good friend of Kevin's in university, and he approached me because of uh, my, I guess, uh, influence with with an anime style. You know, I would draw um, pretty pretty good art. So yeah, he figured he he'd let me in on on his little his little project. So yeah. <laughs>
Well, I mean, how long has it been in development then? Oh, yeah, so um, we're going on our fourth year. Hopefully, wow. yeah, hopefully 2019 will be uh, our last projected release date. So, yeah, looking forward to bringing Necroversa to you. Uh, what's it going to be released on? So, it will be released on PC and Mac through Steam, which you can wishlist now, as well as PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. Excellent. Well, we will look forward to hopefully playing it in 2019. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Give it all away, and now has come.